Today I'll show you how to fix comments that are closed in WordPress. This message is usually displayed when comments have been disabled on a post, but sometimes you'll see this unexpectedly. So we'll cover a few different methods on why it's happening and how to fix it. So what we wanna do is go to our WordPress dashboard and we'll take a look at a couple of different places where you can change this or look to see how to fix this. The first area we wanna look at is under the discussion tab, and this will show a couple of different settings we can look at. So let's go to settings, we'll go to discussion, and there's two different items that we wanna look for. So from here, this might be unchecked, and so people aren't able to comment on new posts. If you're wanting comments to be added to your blog post, then you wanna make sure that that's checked. The other area that you want to look for is to under the automatically close comments, on posts older than X number of days. So what this does is it allows people to comment on a very new post and it gives them 28 days to comment on that. After the 28 days, the comments will close down. And so if someone has commented on the post after 28 days, that closes and then that's why you'll see comments are closed. If you don't want that, then you can deselect that. And so comments will always be open on your page. So with this one checked and this one unchecked, that means your comments will all be open people can comment on all and any new posts moving forward. We can scroll down and save changes. For most people, deselecting this area or automatically closes comments, that will fix most of your problems. For instance, this is the default hello world. When I scroll down to the comment area, I no longer have that comments closed area. I now have it open to where people can add comments. Now, if you have comments off of most of your posts, but say you want to allow comments on individual posts, then we can do that separately. You can go into all posts and simply go into the post that you want to edit, go over to the right area, look for discussion, and then you'll want to say allow comments. And so then you can control comments on individual posts. If you are still using the classic editor, then you want to do something similar. We can just go over to screen options from the post and we're looking for discussion. Make sure you click discussion check mark. And now when we scroll down, we see discussion here where you can allow comments as well. Now, if you have several posts that you want to allow comments on, then you can add them in bulk. Simply go to all posts. And from here, you want to highlight all of the posts that you want to adjust. Click on bulk action, click edit, apply. And from here, click on comments to allow and update. And then that will update all of those items that we just highlighted. Now, if you've done all of these and it is still having that comments are closed section, then you'll want to check for something that's not compatible with a theme or a plugin of yours. One of the things that you can do is go to appearance themes and you could quickly change it out from what theme you're using to maybe the default theme that is on hand and see if that changes anything. You can also go into all of your plugins and deactivate each one one at a time just to see if it's a plugin issue. For instance, there is a plugin called disabled comments. Make sure you don't have that installed in your plugins area, because if you do, then that will automatically disable all comments on your website. For most people, either making sure that this is checked or that the automatically closed comments post is unchecked will solve many of the issues of not of seeing comments are closed on your website. And if you want to get deeper into just how Gutenberg block editor works, then make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to use the Gutenberg block editor for your website. And I'll see you over there.